Mm, oh my goodness. This is not good. Mm -mm. Oh. Why? Hey guys, welcome to another Snacktastic Adventures. Hey guys, welcome to another Snacktastic Adventures. I'm Leroy. I'm Keith. Back with Keith up here in the mountains. And Keith has assembled some very strange snacks for us to try. Isn't that right, Keith? That's right. This isn't going to be fun. <laughs> yes, he's made sure of that. Without further ado, let's get started on some of these weird snacks that Keith found. Gatorade Power Goo. It says energy chews, but Power Goo sounds better. Fruit Punch flavor. They are shaped much like Starburst, but they're all gelatinous. So it's like the consistency of a gummy bear? Yes. Down the hatch. Oh my god, I feel such a surge of power. It tastes like a gusher. Mm. Yeah, not a very good one. But it does kind of have a Gatorade taste to it. Yeah. Next thing. Gin Gins. The ginger people. So redheads made this or gingerbread people. My guess is this is like ginger, or it's like raisins, but with lots of ginger. And there's only three ingredients, right Keith? Yep, three ingredients. Sugar, ginger, and tapioca starch. Why is tapioca involved? I've got no idea. <laughs> They're individually packed. Oh, yes they are. Good, we can save some for later. It looks like uh. something left over from an industrial process, not candy. Yes. Um, but all the granola crunchies out there will be like, oh, it's all natural and it's organic. Uh, it's, so it's much better for you, isn't it? And then at the end, they're just like, let's put some powdered sugar on there. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Mm. Oh my God. Right, it takes a little bit of effort. Mm. Oh my gosh. This is not good. Mm -mm. Oh. Why? spit it out really bad. God, we're through it. Ooh, there's a burn. Mm. Yeah. It burns. Why is my can my candy is attacking me? At first, it was like a hint of a ginger ale, and then all ginger broke loose. Actually, I don't even like ginger ale. It's too much for me. You monster. Oh my mm. God, it's just burning my mouth. Wow. No, I can't get it off my teeth. Oh, yeah. oh, it's terrible. That, uh, that was brutal. Yeah. Not pleasant. Oh, I'm glad you're done with it. It burns. This might beat the ginger. Sea snacks. Strangely addictive. Olive oil and sea salt organic seaweed. It's got a shark on it. I can always like take from the picture and... Oh, you could do that. Mm -hmm. But then this is more interactive where it's like, aha! Very well sealed. Ooh, boy, does that look appetizing or what? Uh, Very moist looking. Yeah! That's weight, oh god. Ooh, there's that sea smell. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Ugh. 
This tastes how bad broccoli smells. Yeah, that's a very accurate, accurate statement. Oh, I'm done with that. Oh, you took such a teeny tiny I bite. I did, and that was a smart move. I ate the whole thing. Man. You did? Yeah. I, I, I was to worried you. I was gonna get sick for a second. Oh, that was yeah. Nasty. Oh, well, the ginger taste is gone now because seaweed yep. has taken over. Yep. That is the only thing. <sighs> oh. Blah. Chocolate flavored confectionery bars with rice milk. So uh, they milked some rice and made this chocolate apparently. Is it uh, vegan? Let's see, allergy friendly, non GMO. That's good. Uh, don't think it's vegan friendly. There's fish in this. Did you say there's fish in a chocolate bar? It, yeah, it says fish, shellfish. <laughs> And crustaceans? Free from. Free from. It doesn't have mustard. It doesn't have soy. I feel like you could turn this into a song from the Warner Brothers. You know, Yakko sings songs about like the states and stuff. They could sing with this giant list. Wheat, peanuts, tree nuts, dire, diarrhea. <laughs> Dairy. I hope it's diarrhea. That's the free. end of that song. Okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe it is vegan because it has nothing in it at all, which is vegan food. <laughs> That's a very good chocolate bar. Mm-hmm. I would have never guessed it was anything other than a normal chocolate bar. Are there chocolate bars made with crustaceans? And mustard? If there, <laughs> if these exist, let us know in the comments down below. We'll try it. Or I'll try it. I don't know if Keith will. <laughs> Look, I gave seaweed a try. I could t I could try a lobster. You could try a, a lobster chop chocolate with mustard. <laughs> you know, I tried uh, mustard sardines. Oh, <laughs> well. I lost power for a moment there. You know those budget cuts with the set. Just <laughs> 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 I was saying I tried mustard sardines. They're actually pretty good. I will I never thought I was find going out for <laughs> myself. There will never be first-hand experience of me finding that out. I also had pickled quail eggs. Dude, something's wrong with you. Our final snack is going to be Coca-Cola with coffee, caramel flavored. Great Coca-Cola taste blended with rich, luxurious coffee. Asiflimbitusium. I feel like that was a Harry Potter spell right there. It is, yeah. You know, <laughs> powered co powdered coffee from Brazilian coffee beans. And we have some very fun mugs to try this with. I have a mouse elephant right here <laughs> with the little ears. I before E mug. It's got my name on it. This smells. Ooh. It smells like Coke and coffee. It smells exactly like Coke and coffee, yeah. Oh, but it does not smell good. Down the hatch. That's actually not that bad. It's like in the middle for me. I, well, it's like, it's not bad, but I wouldn't say it's good either. First thing that hits you is the coke. Second is the caramel, and it's got a coffee finish. I could drink a can of this. I couldn't. No. Not that bad. 
I uh, bet. So now it's time to say which snacks we liked the best. Keith? I would definitely eat the chocolate again. So the chocolate is your favorite? It tasted just like regular chocolate. I do not mind that it was made with rice milk. I would say it's kind of between the chocolate and the Gatorade little things. Because uh, I'm always a gummy fan, so it's good. But the chocolate, I think, just was the most pleasant. We weren't sure what to expect with it, and it turned out to be just what we needed after two very disgusting snacks of ginger and seaweed. So it hit the spot just right. If we ended on the seaweed, I'd be like walking to the kitchen right now. <laughs> well, I think that's going to wrap things up for us here. Thanks, Keith, once again for these wonderful snacks. It was quite a journey. Of a variety of flavors. Oh yeah, we we went from the sweet spectrum to the bitter spectrum. Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. And if you hear that, that is Keith's little baby Dwayne, guest producer on the show. <laughs> Working hard. <laughs> Wham! More stacks. Wham! So until next time, keep on snacking.